Have you thought about cutting the cord from a regular cable service, but are afraid of losing the local channels? Well, the good news is you don't have to. In this video, I'm going to break down three ways you can watch local channels without cable. Stay tuned. Alrighty everyone, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Shall I Stream It? My name is Matt and I'm your host. Today I'm going to be talking about watching the local channels without cable. If you like this video as we're going along, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to this channel for all things streaming. I'm going to have some chapter times in the description if you want to skip ahead to anything. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the local channels, you know, they're great for all things with local news. If you want to check out the weather or the traffic in the morning, you want to watch sporting events, you want to watch live events like the Oscars or your favorite shows when they're first on. Uh, it's definitely a great thing to have. But, you know, as we've gone into the streaming era, there's just more and more people that aren't getting the local channels. Uh, the good news is it is super easy to access them. You just need the right equipment. The first way is going to be to get your local channels for free with an antenna. Now, if you have a television from the year 2007 or newer, which I'm going to guess most people watching this do, all you need is an antenna and you can plug that into your TV and watch those local channels for free. This is where I get a little frustrated when I hear people talking about, you know, the cheap plan that cable services will offer where you can, you know, pay like 15 bucks a month and you just get the local channels. I'm like, why would you do that when you can literally get them for free? So here I've got an antenna that I got from Amazon. It was literally less than $15, um, but you just plug this into your TV and you are literally good to go. You'll not only have access to your local networks like NBC, ABC, CBS, but you'll also have access to the sub channels. This is kind of one of the hidden benefits of getting the, uh, you know, your local channels over broadcast is you'll have these extra channels that are usually listed as like 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, and so on that will have everything from, uh, you know, old sitcoms to additional local programming. So literally with this antenna, you can get like 20 to 30 channels. So it's a definitely a good deal. Now, the kind of antenna you get or the amount of money that you want to put into it really depends on what you're looking for, um, the distance that you are from where the broadcast towers are. So if you're like in a more rural area as opposed to a city, um, you might want to get something that has a stronger signal. There's indoor and outdoor antennas. There's antennas for one TV, multiple TVs. Um, if you go to Amazon, there's a whole bunch on there. I'm going to have a link in the description to some that I've had recommended. Also, if you go onto my blog post at shallistreamit.com, that I'm going to have a link to in the description. It's going to have access to a bunch of antennas on there, some of which you know are some of the more higher rated ones from Amazon that you can check out as well. So let's go on to the second way that you can get the local channels, and that is going to be to stream them over the internet with Lowcast. Now, Lowcast is a not-for-profit service that translates the broadcast signal so that you can stream the local channels over the internet. It is a super nice service. Um, it isn't available everywhere quite yet, but over 50% of the country here in uh, the United States has access to it currently. They're in 32 different markets, and they're expected to expand as time goes on. Now, Lowcast is technically free, but the catch is every 15 minutes as you're watching it it does interrupt with a short ad that's basically asking you to donate money they do rely on user donations sort of like pbs has you know like viewers like you it is those uh you know followers that give five dollar a month donations that keep uh, low cast going if you donate at least five dollars a month that eliminates the ad so you don't have to have that interrupting your broadcast anymore if you are, you know, struggling a little bit financially or just have like, you know, tighter, you know, budgets, uh, struggling to make some ends meet, that is totally cool as well because they do offer a program called Lowcast Cares. 
um, you can apply for that. And if you're eligible, you can have the ads eliminated and not have to pay the $5 a month. So low cast is definitely a cool thing to check out. Now you might ask yourself, okay, but I, I might want to get an antenna or I might do low cast, but I still want to record shows. How do I do that? The good news is there's a whole bunch of DVRs that you can get set up with that will allow you to record those shows from a live broadcast if you have, uh, you know, your signal either coming from an antenna. Um, if you are getting low cast, it gets a little more complicated. Um, you have to hook it up with a service uh, such as Plex. And I'll have a, a video from another YouTuber where he's basically like broken down how to do that. Um, but if you are getting your signal from an antenna, the good news is there are a whole bunch of DVRs available. The cheaper ones run anywhere from like $30 to $50. The more expensive ones are going to be like $200 and up. You do get what you pay for. Basically, the more money you're going to put into that DVR, the you know better quality um, that you're going to get from that. Um, I'm also going to have a link in the description. And again, there's, uh, you know, my, my blog post that has different, uh, you know, ones that have been recommended on Amazon. So that is something that you can check out as well. Now, your third option to watch the local channels without cable is going to be to subscribe to a streaming service that allows you to watch live TV over the internet. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones out there. The main ones that are going to include the local channels are Hulu plus Live TV, Fubo TV, and YouTube TV. I've done uh, another video where I broke down in detail Fubo TV and you know their pros and cons and all about that. You can check that out if you uh, you know want to learn more about Fubo. I really like Fubo. Fubo is what I personally use. The good news about Fubo, I've reached out to them and I've been able to get an exclusive offer specifically for viewers of Shall I Stream It. If you go to fubotv.com slash shall I stream it, you can not only get a seven day free trial of Fubo, but you can also get 15% off your first month. I'm going to have a link in the description if you want to follow that or you can just type into your browser, go to fubotv.com slash shall I stream it and take advantage of that deal. So to wrap it up, have you tried out any of these methods to get the local channels? What has your experience been like? Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this YouTube channel for all things streaming. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope you all have a good one. Bye-bye.